Um, to start off, um, we are a student-led club at the University of Calgary. We are an SU-registered club um, of just a group of like-minded students who are interested in information security as a broad topic. Um, and we will go on to more of what we do. Um, so to start out, we'll introduce ourselves. Um, my name is Alexander Tenney. I'm a computer science and political science dual major at the University of Calgary. Um, and I've previously come off of a 16 month internship, so I'm just getting back into it. And I'm Ijaz. I'm the VP operations for the club. I'm a combined degree student in computer science and mathematics, and I am four months in or five months into my internship. Um, I forgot to say I am the president of the club um, and I am a founder of the club. So I was here when it began. Um, so just a little bit about our club. We are um, on the executive team. We are comprised of nine full executives, five directors and seven junior executives. We just onboarded those junior executives. So we are quite a large group of really motivated individuals who are willing to put the work in on top of our school hours to make this club run. Um, our club is mostly made up of undergraduate students the majority of them are computer science just because we started it in computer science and that's where it's written in, but we're starting to gain a lot of momentum within the engineering group, which is a logical jump. Um, but also we have a ton of other uh, degrees involved in it. I'm also in political science, so I try and push that political science aspect, but we've also been found out by a ton of high school kids within Calgary, grad students, industry professionals, and I also believe there's quite a few other universities that pop in onto our workshops and our meetings. Um, our, our membership currently is about 16 paying members with 100 unique undergrads who have attended workshops. Um, we don't include attendance for those who are in high school, industry professionals, or other universities all the time just because it's not something we need to do. We don't need to collect data on those people, so we try not to. Um, <laughs> So that's basically an unknown. Um, in terms of community, just people that are joining in, um, talking to us, hanging out, interested in what we're doing. We have a Discord server with over 700 accounts. Um, who is active and who isn't varies, but we do have quite a large group of people on that Discord. So our club mission statement. So the mission of our club is to expose and educate university students to the technical and theoretical skills in the field of cybersecurity and to connect these students with industry professionals. Basically how our club started out is we wanted to learn all these principles, but we had no one to teach us. So we decided to teach it ourselves and it just went on from there. Um, so the reason that the club was founded and why we exist at all and just like the bread and butter of our club is workshops. Uh, I really wanted to learn what working in cybersecurity and what doing cybersecurity was and there was no one to teach me. Um, so I just, <laughs> me and the other founders decided we would teach other people. We would provide that service that we wanted. Um, so we stream workshops streaming because of COVID um, every Monday 6 to 8 p.m. barring holidays. Um, those workshops are meant to teach uh, technical cybersecurity skills. They are largely rooted in the idea of CTFs, just because that's how I learned cybersecurity, but we're moving forward into more pen testing and blue teaming uh, type topics as we learn more and have more knowledge to start teaching those things. Um, in the fall semesters, so right now we run two streams, a beginner and advanced. Advanced means experienced. It just means not beginner. That's the huge disclaimer on that. Um, it just means it's not our beginner curriculum. This allows for people to uh, join in on our club, even if they don't previously have a lot of knowledge. And it is a really good introduction into cybersecurity. We try and make these workshops as hands on as possible. As students, no one really wants to sit through another two hour lecture especially because we sit through lectures all day, all week. Um, also, I don't think I'm qualified to lecture. I don't know enough to do that. So we wanted it to be hands-on and doing stuff. If I can learn by doing it, it's fun. If I have to sit there and just listen to people talk, it's maybe not as fun. Um, and we really wanted to encourage a community where we helped people when they got stuck. There are times when you're not super experienced and when you're super beginner and you have this imposter syndrome of I don't belong here, where the moment you get stuck, you're going to give up and you're not going to move forward. And we really want to try and help people push past that. So we try and encourage our community to help people as they get stuck. 
Um, if you get stuck during a workshop, all you need to do is message in the chat or message in our Discord, and we will get an executive to go sit with you and figure out what you don't understand and get you back on track. Um, so we want it to be really friendly to everyone who would be joining our workshops. Um, this is just a little video. It's eight seconds, a sped up video of an ex-executive, James Lowther, um, running through a forensics workshop. He's looking at a spectrogram and just showing the different information that you can get from those and different files. Um, so that's just a taster of one of our beginner series workshops. Again, it's very rooted in CTFs. So if you're someone who's very interested in CTFs, they'll be familiar. So another big part of what we do is our speaker series. This is an initiative we started last year and are continuing this year. This is also really a great uh, opportunity for people who don't have much technical knowledge or technical um, uh, experience or interest, because we try to uh, incorporate a lot of different areas within cybersecurity into these talks. So, for example, our first talk, we just which we just had last year, Alex, if you click, click, just last, sorry, just last week, we had Chris Shepard, who has OSCP, and is an ethical hike, ethical hacker with IBM. He came and talked to us about open source intelligence gathering. He walked us through a present uh, attack he and his team did on an executive of his company with their permission, of course. And it was really scary, but also interesting to learn how just the very, very small information you put online can just have drastic consequences. Coming up in about a month on November 15th, we have Ruth Promislow. She is a partner with Bennett Jones in their Toronto office and has a lot of experience with data protection, privacy, and cybersecurity, and, and, she, and breach response and related, related litigation. She will be coming to speak to us about cyber law. If that's a topic that interests you, make sure you come out to see that. Then starting the new year, starting off the new year, we have Dr. Jason Jaskolka. He is an assistant professor in the Department of Systems and Computer Engineering at uh, Carleton University. Uh, and he will be talking to us about AI topics. So a lot of multi-agent systems. So if that's something that interests you, that's a, that may be a talk for you. And our fifth speaker, technically, we're still working to confirm our fourth speaker, but our fifth speaker to end off the year will be Dr. Dima Al-Hadidi. She is an assistant professor at Windsor. She was recently recognized one of Canada's top women in cybersecurity. That's a big achievement. And she will be presenting to us on security behind cloud and health data. So these speaker series are exclusive to premium members of our club. If you want to become a premium member and attend these talks, all you have to do is transfer, send an e-transfer of $10 to infosec.ucalgary at gmail.com. And in that, e and in that, just include your name, email, and Discord username if you have one. And to make sure to include your four-digit Discord identifier. Uh, premium members also get uh, full voting rights in our club if they attend half of our um, meetings and are a student of the University of Calgary, and also get early access to register for a Magpie CTF, which you will see coming up soon. So our, if being a speaker is something that could possibly interest you. Just send an email over to infosec.ucalgary at gmail.com and one of us will get back to you. Um, so I alluded to this earlier, but one of the other major things our club does is something called Magpies CTF. Um, this is now an annual, ideally, cybersecurity competition, a CTF. Uh, we started last year. Um, if you're not familiar with what a CTF is, B-Sides is running one right now that you should check out. But um, it's uh, called a capture the flag competition. And it's basically a cybersecurity competition where you try and attack vulnerable programs, files, or uh, websites and find a little piece of information called the flag inside of it. It's a unique string. Um, and it just proves essentially that you could attack the system the way it was meant to be attacked. Um, in Magpie, Magpie CTF this year, 2022, not 2021, is happening February 24th. 5th to February 27th. It is categories of web exploitation, cryptography, forensics, reverse engineering, binary exploitation, open source intelligence, and a miscellaneous category. Um, if you are a student in Canada, there is a possibility for you to win cash prizes, and then everyone has the possibility to win subscriptions, swags, etc. Uh, this year, our two major sponsors are Cisco Systems and Tech Resources. So thank you to those two. Um, if you want more information, you can go to Magpie.
www.ca.ca um, for our landing page. Um, I don't know if we've mentioned this, but last year was 80s theme, and this year is heist theme. <laughs> so it's Magpie Heist. Um, so that is all for our presentation. That is a brief overview of all of the things that we do. Um, but we're always interested in, in talking to different industry professionals, people interested in our club, students that are just from other universities or at the University of Calgary that didn't know we existed. Uh, we're always interested in talking to everyone. Um, the main place to do that would be our Discord. Uh, that is where we do most of the communication to the members of our club um, and just talk with people, talk about different CTFs. Uh, sometimes we hang out in the voice channels on Fridays and Saturdays. Sometimes we'll do CTFs in there that people can join in on. Um, so you can either scan the QR code or follow the Discord invite link. Um, there is a bot that will make you accept the rules in the hashtag rules channel. Uh, please do that or else you will not get access to the majority of the channels and you won't be able to see what we're doing. Um, other than that, we have our website at infosecucalgary.ca um, that has our schedule, our speakers, a little bit about us. It even has a resource section of things that we think are important to get into cybersecurity. Um, so you can go visit there if you want to figure out more about what we're doing. Um, if you have any questions or any proposals or anything that you want to talk to us about, you can always email us at infosec.ucalgary at gmail.com. And finally, we're on social media for Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at infosec. You Calgary. Um, so if you have any questions about our club, I'm happy to answer them. Um, <laughs> but that is all we really have for you. Uh, we're super excited to be here. We love B-sides. And uh, yeah, I'm just happy to talk with people. <laughs>